Shalom everybody, hope all is well. We have to wake up because the Messiah is coming to the Holy Land of Israel. Guys, the biggest gift I can give you is to tell you guys to wake up and to return to God Almighty, to give yourselves to Hashem, to tell Hashem, I'm yours, where do I sign, what's my assignment? Because when the Messiah comes, as great as that will be, which we await at every moment and we pray for it to happen immediately, as great as that will be, we will we will actually yearn for the exile when the Mashiach comes. Imagine, we taught, we spend all of our days waiting for the coming of Mashiach. And then Mashiach is going to come and then we're going to say, Oh, I missed the times before Mashiach came. I miss exile. How could that be? How could that be? It says that the pleasure we're going to feel when Mashiach comes is going to be greater, infinitely greater than all the pleasure in the world that every person has ever felt of all time combined. is nothing compared to one single moment that one person will feel in the times of Mashiach. So how could it be? How, how are you going to tell me that when that happens, we're going to want to go back to the exile? I'll tell you why. The reason why is because now... This is something that is so unbelievable. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to give you the answer, but I just want us to appreciate it. And I'm not just saying you have to appreciate it. I myself, I'm telling myself to appreciate this fact. But guys, why why are we going to miss the exile when Mashiach comes? Because when Mashiach comes, we're going to actually realize how powerful it was to serve God in exile. How infinite it was. The pleasure God feels and felt from us serving Him in exile, we're going to realize the magnitude of that and we're going to want, we're going to wish we would have done more. We're going to yearn and thirst and we're going to dream of exile when Mashiach comes because we're going to realize how great it was to serve God in exile, how much pleasure Hashem feels when we serve Him now in exile. Imagine, imagine you're the king and you see somebody, you see somebody uh, serving, so you see somebody so dedicated to you, you're the king of a country, and you see somebody somebody speaking so positively about the king, you sp and then you, you, you disguise yourself, imagine you disguise yourself and pretend, you pretend you're like a homeless person and you ask this random person about the king and you see how great they speak about the king. And they love the king and he's amazing and I want to support the king. I want to work for the king. I want to get close to the king. And so on and so forth. And then you reveal to the person that you are that king. Obviously, the, 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 the amount of joy you get from hearing this person speak about you in a positive way before he knew that you were the king, before he saw that you were the king, obviously that causes you a lot more pleasure than afterwards somebody who knows you're the king praising you to your face. Because obviously they're afraid of you. They know you're the king. They know you say something. They say any word about you. There could be the, their end. But when they don't know you're the king. And they don't know the king's watching and listening. And seeing that he praises the king. They see that's a true person who loves the king. That's a true subject of the king. So guys we're in that situation now. Hashem is watching our every move. But he is hiding from us. We don't feel his glory. We don't feel a, a, a fear and a dread of him at every moment automatically. We could come and push ourselves to feel these things. We could meditate about Hashem's greatness and activate within ourselves fear and love of him. But we don't automatically feel this love and fear, this paralyzing love and fear of him at every moment, which we will feel in the times of Mashiach, in the sense that we will feel this infinitely potent fear of him and love of him at every moment that it won't be possible to sin. It will only be possible to serve him. But now that we're in exile, so what I'm trying to say is to bring all these points together is now, guys, we are in exile. And now we have free will. And now God is, is still hiding from us in the sense that we have to search for him and serve him against in the face of darkness. So now in these moments, it's so precious, our service of God. Compared to when Mashiach comes, as great as it will be, it'll be infinite. It will be all, it, we won't have free will to, to serve God in the same way. Because when Mashiach comes... The evil is going to be removed from the world. We're going to be like angels. We're going to serve God with no other options. But now we have other options and yet we still choose God. That is the greatest. So could you imagine? Imagine the best moments of your life. Imagine the greatest pleasure you've ever felt. Right? That is nothing compared to the coming of Mashiach. The feeling of winning the lottery. That excitement of that moment you won the lottery is nothing compared to even a single moment in the times of Mashiach. Infinitely greater. 
Yet, when that happens, we will yearn for to be where we are right now in the darkness, being able to serve God. Why? Because that is what causes God the greatest pleasure. That is what causes the Messianic era. The Hakdama, the preface, the hallway that brings us to the redemption is this world right now where we have to fight and serve God and bring the light to the darkness and find God within the darkness. That is the greatest. This is where it's all about. So guys, let's take this into our hearts. Let's realize this gift that's in front of us. Let's take our service of God to the next level. Now is the time. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, guys. Please help support the Torah channel below. God bless you all.